Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to beautiful Hudson Fields, Hazen Union High School in Hardwick, Vermont. Your Hazen Union Lady Cats taking on the Enosburg Hornets today. Our sponsors, Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., and Calderwood Insurance Agency, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera. Bit of a gray day, but the foliage is getting more and more spectacular as time goes on, and I can't wait for this Saturday for homecoming, Griff. How about you? I'm pretty excited. Homecoming is always pretty fun. Well, it was a good time. Girls uh, finally uh, sort of got the monkey off their back last week with a win over Richford here at home. A little home cooking took care of it. But since then, uh, this past Saturday, they went to Danville, lost 2-1. to one. And we have played Enosburg before back on September 11th and lost up there by a score of 6-1. But, uh, you know, that was a long time ago, and as we've said, Griff, the last few games, the girls have been in them. They've come back a long ways, and uh, it's going to be kind of exciting to see how these two teams match up. Enosburg comes in with a record of 6-3, and three, so Lady Cats got their work cut out for them. Opening tip, Lady Cats all sporting the pink socks. October, of course, is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so they are sporting the pink socks. In recognition of that, as you see in a, in a lot of sports nowadays, so nice to see them all band together and doing that. Aiden Carr over to Macy Moeller. Ball trickles through. Goes over to it was Alexis Christensen, but now it's back up. Looking to clear. Lefty Jeffrey. Middle of the field. Rollout. We'll have a throw in. Gabby Caforia. And I know I've been doing this a while, Griff, when I start recognizing names on the opposing team's roster. Yeah, I agree. Yep. This is, this is, what, our third season up here, I believe. Uh, I think so, yeah. I started noticing the same thing. Like, I know these players. No better place to watch a soccer game than from the roof of the Industrial Arts Building at Hazen Union High School as you look down on Hudson Fields. Just gorgeous. Ball trying to play through. Defense back on there. Horse to get back. It's Michaela Chase on the far side. Gabby Sanchu trying to give chase over there. Joey Hall looks to clear. Throw in. That's number 11. I think it's Megan Jarvis on the throw in. Headed out. No, it's number 10. Let's give it back to Michaela Chase. As always, the tough part with the calling the girls games, they get over on those far sides. You can't see the numbers, and when you can, they're covered up with hair. Ball kept in by Enosburg. Cross. Lefty Jeffrey gets it back to the outside. Enosburg in control right now. Looking to make a play. Gabriella Stanchu. Trying to get clear it out. Aiden Carr trying to clear out. Everyone trying to clear out here. Ball stays in bound, or goes out of bounds. Lady Cats throw in. Joey Hall with a long throw. Was looking for Maddie Bartlett. It's Joey bringing the ball up. Crossover. Macy Moeller gets it to Christensen. Christensen, man coming on. Back up to Moeller. Nice pass. Let's see if they can get something going here. Not a little bit of an attack. Macy puts a shot on. Save by Zoe McGee for Enosburg. And Griff, I was given some inside information by Coach Harry Bissett before the game started. Wet field, slick ball, particularly if it happens to start raining later on, which we hope it doesn't because then we'd have to skedaddle down off of here. He has given them the green light to shoot from outside. You get a funny hop, ball skips, it's slippery. And let's see what Enosburg can do here. They move in. Emily Kimmel down, makes the save. Ball bounces back out. Yeah, I think we may possibly see a lot of that today, Griff. I totally agree. Uh, it's going to be tougher conditions for the goalkeepers. So if you make them work a little bit, maybe they'll make a mistake. Maybe they'll slip on the ground. Maybe they'll not be able to catch the ball entirely. And uh, it's a double-edged sword, though. Yep. But it looks like uh, looks Emily's doing a good job so far. Emily Kimball. Coming a long ways from that. I remember that first game we saw up here. 
up ahead. Referee Brian Barney calls an infraction back. Well, looking like he's going to give the kick to Hazen. Let's reset. Aiden Carr chips in. Cassidy Cochran wanted to get it to Maddie Bartlett. Ball in again. Maddie gives chase. Save McGee. Punt out. Kept back in by Carr. Here's Bartlett working against Emma Jervis. Jarvis, excuse me. Cochran back out. That one skips by Stanchu. Enisberg. Marching up the field here. Trying to match up some names and numbers, but they're moving pretty fast out there. Nice chip by Gabby Caforia. Bethany Conway tries to clear that one up. Moeller, middle of the field. Pass up. Looking at the far side. Bartlett's there. If she can get across there, she's got Cochran in there as well. Nothing as McGee scoops that one up. Hazen boys will be in action here tomorrow evening. And then, of course, we have the homecoming weekend. And I don't even dare to say what teams are playing anymore. The, the games are... At this point of the season, everything's kind of blended together. <laughs> yep. And uh, We've seen a lot of soccer. A lot of soccer and, and a lot left to come still. It's going to be a busy, hectic next three weeks. And, of course, we'll start playoffs. Ball goes through Aiden Carr, Enisberg, looking to mount an attack. Aaron Diet here on the near side. Ball up in the air. Bouncing around. Here's Christensen looking up the line. Moeller right below us here. Going to try and get by Kaforia. She had number 14 for Enisberg. I have no number 14 on my program. Maddie Bartlett. Back to Moeller, trying, trying for Moeller, broken up nicely by Megan Severance. And again, I'm assuming all these names and numbers match up. Going by what's printed on my program. Zoe Hislip, back up. Long up ahead. Girl's got a lot of speed right there. She's going to get the breakaway. She's going to get a shot on. And we have a goal scored by Lacey Reed off the long pass. A lot of speed Reed showed. They're getting up there, beating the defense back. To blast one by Kimball to open up the early 1-0 lead for Enosburg. 32-47 left to go in the first half. Lacey Reed, a senior for the Enosburg Hornets. Opens up the scoring. Hornets up 1-0. Lady Cats looking for the equalizer. Reed did a nice job of staying on side until that ball got up over there. And then she was just simply able to race past the defense. Hislop up ahead, Bartlett, middle of the field, over to Moeller. Moeller, nice pass over to Christensen. Christensen looking to get past Kaforia. Kaforia's been tough already back here on defense for the Hornets. Throw in, Christensen looks at Aiden Carr. Ball skips out to Aaron Diet. Diet and Carr rubbing some paint out there.
Enosburg back up through. Well, Reed was open there again for a second. If she could have stepped through, save Kimball. Or more of a scoop. That ball was going to go off the end line. Punt. Short punt taken down by Aaron Diet. Diet looking for Reed again. Lefty Jeffrey gets a foot in there. Turn. Shot on. Saved by Kimball. I have no 23 on my program either. We will do the best we can for these Innisburg Hornets. Joey working against the end on the far side. Kind of a gray, almost November-like day, isn't it, Griff? It's October 1st, and it always yeah. feels like it's a, a month ahead of what it actually is, yeah. Cats looking to clear. Carr up ahead. Moeller turns. Cochran up ahead. Matt Bartlett tries to trap that one down. Taken by Megan Severance. Back up. There's a lot of numbers I don't have for the Hornets. I feel bad. Number four gives chase, working against Joey. Zoe. Ball stayed in. Enosburg looking to set something up, being patient. Kaforia, Zoe, Aiden Carr looks to line that one up. Was looking at Moeller. I don't know if she truly meant to do that. One off the side of her foot. Either way, she almost got it over to Macy. Enosburg in control so far this game. And ball skips through, rolls in. A little bit of a uh, mix up there. Kimball went down to save it. If you can get me a number, Griff, this girl with the headband, I think, right here. I did not see her number. Either way, Enosburg up two zip now. What do you want to say, number? Number 18. Aaron Diet looks like, scored that goal. Mm -hmm. Once again, Kimball went down, tried to make the save. Ball skipped past her. Nobody there to clear. It trickled across the goal line forever. And uh, before Diet was there to put it in. I've lost my marker. Darn it. Let me look in this pocket. Oh, yeah, there it is. Enosburg. Up two zip. 28-28. Left to go in the first half. Defense desperately trying to clear again. Kimball out to make the save. Wow, I'm glad that one didn't skip away. Enosburg player right there to pounce if it had. Matty Bartlett trying to move up through. Doesn't get it by number 23. Bartlett's still working, though, over there. Comes Macy Moeller. Kaforia clears out. Right back to Bartlett again. Christensen up ahead. Moeller pass back over. 
Aiden Carr blocked. Ball here on the near side. Christensen's going to get on that. Nice pass inside to Moeller. Once again, the Enosburg defense stymies the Hazen attack. Enosburg, wow. Nice move. Kimball blocks that one away. Going to have an Enosburg corner kick. The most exciting play in soccer. Kick stays on the ground. Goal kick. Hazen goal kick. Joey with the kick up, taken down by Reed. Cats control up ahead, Moeller. Over to Carr, Carr goes ahead. Moeller racing in there, defense back. Over here on the near side, Christensen gives chase now. Going up against Emily Adams. Christensen back. Aaron Diet bringing the ball up. Gets it by Conway. Zoe Hislop. Just looking to clear that one out. Diet, she scored once. Nice cross. Oh, here's Reed, wide open in front of the net. Shoots wide. Had a nice look. Worked herself wide open. Joey with the goal kick up, taken down. By Diet. Ball rolls out. Corner kick. Enosburg Hornets. Corner. And cleared out. Christensen gets a foot on it. Can't quite clear, though. Nice ball control there. Nice pass. Wow. Shot high and up over. It's a brilliant passing. Nice uh, footwork, passing, ball movement. Enosburg putting on a clinic right now as to how to get things done against this Cats. Lady Cats team. Joey Hall up. For you. Christensen there to block it out. Gabby Kaforia. Throw in. Ali Gabari got a foot on that. Enosburg still in control though. Megan Jarvis crosses over, taken out by Hislip. Gabari blocked down by Madison St. Ange. The little red machine with the scoop. Will she punt or will she throw? She'll punt. Enosburg. Lefty Jeffrey with authority back out to the middle. Played by Kaforia. Moeller looking to make a move. Against Emily Adams. Blocked back out by Kaforia. Jeffrey. Carr with the head. Aiden Carr gives chase here on the near side. Not going to get there. It'll be a throw in Hornets. Oh, Griff, she's out there. Maverick. 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 
Put a little speed back on the defense. Maverick feels the need for speed. That was another Top Gun reference, Griff. <laughs> oh, I know it. <laughs> Enesburg being fairly dominant here so far in this first half of the first half. Conway. Nice, nice uh, job of clearing right there by Natalie Jeffrey. And we'll bring it up. Hannah Burns right back in ours. Alexis Christensen answers back. Moeller was looking for Carr. Ooh, Carr just ran into Kavoria hard. Back up. She's tough. Maddie Bartlett trying to pass inside. Maddie getting a foot on it. And, yeah, she is still back there. Zoe McGee. Gotten through a couple, couple of chapters of War and Peace since she's last had a look at a shot. Conway, the freshman, trying to make her clear. Maverick. Murphy. Kimball, scoop as Madison St. Ange couldn't quite catch up. Twenty twenty left to go here in the first half. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16. Wow, that was a collision right there between... Lacey Reed and Natalie Jeffrey, both of them back up. Reed went down. She's back up. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera. Blocked down Jeffrey. Now, now she's run into another girl. There's another shot. Kimball makes a save. Our sponsors getting their money's worth today are Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., and Calderwood Insurance Agency, 472-5517. Service and protection since 1979. Give Mike Gothier a call. He will insure anything and everything that you need insurance on at a reasonable rate. And I'll tell you, when it comes to Willie's store, if you can't find it, you don't need it. Moeller dueling with Megan Severance out there. Maverick on the outside. Going up ahead, Madison Bartlett trying to come down. Moeller, still there. Slips down. Enosburg. Conway going up against a pair of Hornets here. She's working. Can't get her by Megan Jarvis. Jarvis, sorry, I keep saying that wrong. I'll get it right maybe by the second half. Lefty Jeffrey. Ball skips ahead up there. Hislop tries the left foot. Taking down Christensen. Aiden Carr. We're working against Megan Jarvis Griff. It's Jarvis. Jarvis. Right here on the near side, Madison St. Ange. Back there, Jeffrey. Conway looking up ahead. Shot on. Taken down by Kimball. Shot on by Megan Jarvis. Madison on the far side. Trying to get by Megan Severance. Got a whistle. Hazen, free kick. Ali Gabary. She'll put a shot on from there. Scoop save. Zoe McGee. First for the ball, Blue. Let's go. 
Nice punt. Right to midfield. Zoe Hislop. Ball skips under Conway's foot. Christian's in there to get a foot on it, though. Conway. Looking to move it up. Kaforia. I think Aiden saw her out of the corner of Ryan. Didn't want to have another collision like she had last time. Going to have Bethany Conway on the throw in for the Lady Cats. We're looking to cut into this 2-0 Hornet lead with 16.40 left to go in the first half. And I'll tell you, Griff, I've, I've really tried to just call up the games and, you know, not assume and, and comment a whole lot on play. But i got to say, is it just me or are we looking slightly, I don't know, lethargic, getting beat to the ball, a step behind? A little or flat. is Enosburg yeah. just that much quicker than us? I wonder if it's maybe a little bit of both. I mean, we saw that play with, uh, uh, I think it was Reed, the first yeah. goal. And uh, she looked like she was very, very quick. Um, but you got to. Oh, rare miss by Kaforia. Yep. Hey, hope for a mistake. Christensen looking across inside. Moeller there, going to get the shot on. Goal! Macy Moeller, Macy the male girl, she delivers. Rare misplay by Kaforia. And we've got a 2 1 game, and uh, you know what? Who am I to say how they're playing? Yeah, you know. If, uh, if the other team looks like they're faster, you know how you get around that is good passing, you know, force the defense into mistakes, and, and a good shot to finish it off. So. Coach Harry's got to be thrilled with that play. That was magnificent, perfectly. Nice crossover by Christensen. Moeller there for the open shot. Skipped it up over uh, Zoe McGee's head. We've got a 2-1 game with 15-52. Left to go here in the first half. Lily, castles made of sand. That's why I try not to comment on the way anybody's playing, because then you just, you know. Anything so, can happen. Yeah, at any given time, I guess. But it just did. It looked like they were falling, you know, sort of a step. I, I couldn't figure out if they were falling a step behind or if Enosburg was a step ahead and that much quicker, you know. Definitely a fast team. And a patient team. You know, they've had the ball up here. Numerous chances, but real patient. Shot on wide by Megan Jarvis. Joey Hall, goal kick. Ball comes up through. Christensen playing against Hannah Loisel. Here we are, middle of the field. Macy looking over, Cassie Cochran there, cleared out. Ball skips up over uh, Allie's head. Enosburg up, trying to clear, trying to get, ooh. And Bethany Conway is going to get called on that one. I think it was just a step outside, from what I saw, I think it was just a step outside the box, or was it in a Uh We're going to find out. Yeah, nope, Brian Barney calling it just outside the box. It was close. But I saw when they collided, it looked like it was just outside. Lucky, or else we would have had a, pink, a PK. Which to me is the second most exciting play in soccer behind the corner kick. Number 23, who I have no name for, puts a shot on high. Hazen dodges a bullet there. Joey Hall, go kick, looks up ahead. Christensen down. Enosburg chipped out. That's a chunk, chunked out by Ali Gamory. Ball rolls off the end line, corner kick. 13-15, left to go in the first half. Clock winding down. Ball. Muller on the near side. St. Ange closing fast. Go, 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 go. 
Gabri tries to get that one. Does get it to the outside. Christensen, ooh, right off of that's off of uh, Hannah Loisel. Loisel. That was a smack with authority right there. Christensen trying to work against Jarvis. Joey Hall up through. Ball ping-ponging around here. Long, long, long shot up. Kimball. Moeller, middle of the field. Back over, Loisel underneath, taken down by Cochran. Moeller looking on the far side for Matty Bartlett. Can't quite get there. Gabbery, high up. Gabbery, shot up, skips over. Cochran's going to give chase, but McGee's going to come down with that one. Christensen, chip up ahead. Moeller, working against Emily Adams. Cleared out by Megan Severance. Zoe Hislop, to the far side. Oh, I believe that's Batau. Number 16, Batel. For us over on defense. Maddie Bartlett. Can't get it up through. Cleared up. Out of bounds. Christensen looks for Moeller. Moeller over to Bartlett. Bartlett looking to clear back through. Get, gets it up ahead. Cochran tried to get the little misdirect in there. Loisel working against Cochran. Cochran, nice move to get it back. Moeller tried to get it through. Broken up by number 14, who I have no number for. No name for, I should say. Moeller, shot on wide. We'll have a Enosburg goal kick. That looks like one of those shots you were talking about where uh, on a different day, maybe in a different weather situation, uh, Coach Bissett would rather have them try and get a little closer yep. and maybe get you know low and to the outside like he always That's says. That's right. But Move the ball in, get the higher percentage shot. But with the weather today, Macy just went for it. Yep. Ball kind of wet, uh, slick. The goal heads, I'm sure, are slick. Footing could be an issue. Zoe Hislop, long ball up ahead. Cochran knocked that one down back. Maddie Bartlett inside. Gabbery, high spinner, comes down. Joey Hall plays that one up. Loisel plays it back. Back up, middle of the field. Enosburg looking like she's going to get a shot off here. Shot, goal. Score by number 23, who I have no name for. Pushes the lead back up to two. Score three to one. Right. 
Once again, the passing, the ball movement, a little bit of extra speed getting around on the end over there. Making it tough for our Lady Cats here. Trailing by two, looking to get back into it. 7.45 left to go in the first half. Throw in on the far side. Ball gets by. Conway. Don't want to get that back in towards the middle. Another shot on. Kimball down. Makes a save on that one. Almost the exact same shot and angle. From the last one, maybe a little more of an angle when it got by Kimball. Able to get down, get herself in position, get on line, make the save. The little red machine. Far cross. Another number who I have no name for, for Enosburg. Turn, shot on. Cross. We had an Enosburg player in the vicinity who couldn't quite catch up with that. She could have got in there and tapped it. Kimball was committed. Ball just ahead. Hazen, goal kick. Number 14 with the throw. Enosburg, once again, mounting the attack. Patience. And Kimball down makes a save. Enosburg player right in her face. Kimball punt. Brought down by number 23 on the far side. Yet, middle. Shot squirts through. Number 14 with the shot. Save, Kimball. 14, trap. Bringing it up once again. Lefty Jeffrey gets a left foot on that one. Joey up, Loisel back. Jeffrey. Moeller and Cochran trying to get something going here. Here's Ali Gabbery. Spinner up through, Moeller down, crossover, looking for Bartlett. Bartlett tries to keep that one in. Can't do it. Throw in. Enosburg Hornets. 4-10 left to go in the first half. Hornets up by a score of 3-1. to one. Cats. Gonna make something happen. Be nice to get a goal here, go into halftime. It'd be nice to get two goals. But we'll start with one. I think they only give them one at a time, yeah. Yeah. Lily, Castle's made a stand, going outside, trying to play against uh, Reed. Reed's got one goal already, crossover. Number nine can't quite catch up with it. Gabriella Stanchu goes over on the far side, looking to move it up the sideline. Zoe Hislopin controlled once again by the Hornets. 
Hornets. Beautiful passing. Wow. Muller clears up. Enosberg right back in the zone, taken down. Jeffrey trades a little paint with number 14. Here's Muller. Over to Stanchu. Stanchu trying to move the ball up, block down. It's got to be Kaforia. Shot on. Kimball save on the slow roller. Punt up, Christensen. Tried to control. <laughs> On the far side. And I'll tell you, Griff, what I see with the Zenisberg team is a team that uses their feet extremely well. Uh, yeah, I would agree. You know? Yep. Uh, um, and I'm thinking with about a minute 18 here, Griff, we are uh, going to be off this roof pretty quick. If you're hearing what I'm hearing through your headphones. Yeah, a little bit of weather. Huh? A little bit of weather coming on. We're going to stick with it as long as we can, but I don't know. <laughs> One minute left to go in the half. Cats looking to make some. Moeller gets by. Gets by Loisel coming up. One player to beat. Hannah Burns trying to get by her. Hannah Burns. Does not fall for the Michael Flatley routine. The Lord of the Dance. The feet up, spinning around that we've seen a lot this season on, on both teams, yeah. Yeah, Macy's footwork is, uh, seems like it's been improving a lot this year. Alexis. Enosberg, Hazen just looking to get a stop right now. And Zoe back out. Five seconds. Let's not give anything up foolish here. And at the end of the first half, it is goals by Lacey Reed, Aaron Diet, and number 23 to give Enosberg three goals. Macy Moeller got us one, and that's where your score stands, is at three to one. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors today, Willie's Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., and Calderwood Insurance Agency, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. Griff on camera. Maybe we'll be back for the second half. If there's more to this video you're watching, then we were able to cover the second half. If not, <laughs> thanks for watching. <laughs> exactly. We'll see what happens.